playing all the hottest music, yeah. Keep it locked, keep it locked. The bougie show, keep it locked. It's the bougie show, but keep it locked. We lie, tell us what you wanna hear When we turn up, you gon' turn up Turn around and tell a friend It's the bougie show, the bougie show Tell them it's the bougie show, the bougie show Yeah, 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 yeah Turn up, all around the world you gon' hear us Turn up, everywhere we go you gon' hear us It's the bougie show when you hear us Cause it's the bougie show, the bougie show Turn up, turn up Bougie show when you hear us Turn up, turn up Turn up, it's the bougie show when you hear us We're going live in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Welcome to the Bougie Show. It is May 15, 2021, and I got a pretty blonde lady next to me. Miss Karen Fisher is in the building. <laughs> How you doing, hon? Good, good. Yeah. Thank you. Well, how was your How was your ride here? Where, where, how was your commute here? I should say. Um, not bad. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You working today? Uh, no, not today. Okay. All right. All right. Well, appreciate you joining us on the Boozy Show. Oh, wow. So, uh, Miss Fisher. So, how? Let's Let's get into this interview. Let's make the transition. How did you get from the suburbs of Portland to the adult film industry in L.A.? Oh gosh. Well, um. I was a dancer in Portland and, uh, you know, an exotic, exotic dancer. Yeah, okay. not like a ballet dancer. Okay. So anyways, I was doing that and a girl that I worked with, um, well, she well actually first, like we had a lot of features like porn stars and magazine models back when there was like a lot of magazines still. Um, would come to our club and feature. And so I just like thought about it for a really, really long time. And then a girl I know started doing things like here and there. Uh, and she just asked me one day if I wanted her to send my photos out. And I said, sure, go ahead. And then I think it was like the next week, the Square magazine flew me out. And that was my first... Job. Okay, so you said your friend was doing things here and there, meaning for shooting scenes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Sorry, I should have. So, oh, so when you were speaking to her about shooting scenes, were you like going into depth, in depth, and like in detail as far as how is it to shoot? What what made you actually say, "I want to pull the trigger and, and fly out and do it"? Uh, honestly, you know, I think it just happened so fast before I could chicken out because I had been thinking about it for a really long time, but then I'd be like, "Oh, I don't know." I don't know about that. You know what I mean? So I never really followed through. And then the whole score thing just happened so quickly. And then after that, um, the same girlfriend, she started her own website and she was doing pretty well with it. Okay. And so I started my own website and then, you know, just went from there. So your first day on the set, you walking in, was there anxiety? So, yeah, um... Score is actually a really nice company. They okay. kind of like pamper you. Um, but I was still nervous. It wasn't like a full on boy girl scene. It was just like solo. But I just remember, yeah, I was nervous and it took forever. And Score is the production company. Right? Yeah, so okay. yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, not like. Right. Got it. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. So you were there. They, they pampered you. And you did what kind of scene was it? It was just like it was four solo scenes. And, oh, okay. Yeah. So it, your first boy girl was when? Oh gosh, I think it was a few months later. Oh, you went that long without? Yeah. So why? Why did it take so long for you to do? Boy girl? Um, I don't know. You know, I just one. I was mostly just doing things for my site, and um. I don't know. I I finally went to L.A. and then that's when my first. Okay, okay. And how was that? Was it was a lot of work, like a lot more than I thought it would be, and I was scared. I was like pretty young. So you had worked with other female talents before you went to the male talent. No, I don't even think I did. Girl, like full on girl, girl it was more posy girl girl okay, you. you know stuff like that um i had like actually been with a girl like off camera but i hadn't really done it on camera okay okay so i'm gonna drop a horn for you and, and a bomb 
Uh-huh. Like I do for every talent that I come across that tells me that, well, they didn't tell me that I found out they lost their virginity at 18. So I just want to definitely drop a bomb for you. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to encourage the women out there that, that um, young girls, to wait, it's okay to wait. You okay. don't have to lose your virginity at 14. So I do this for every time I do my research and my due diligence. I find out I drop a bomb in a horn oh, for, okay, cool. for females that lose eight, that lose their virginity at 18. That's just something I do on this okay. side. <laughs> yeah, 14 is pretty young, I think. Right. So let's get to the nasty talk. So you um you really walking around with 38 F boobs? I am. <laughs> and what kind of weight pressure does that put on your back? You know, I work out with weights, so I'm pretty strong. So it, it doesn't really bother my back. I would say more like my booty bothers like that that's what's the heavy thing wow so you spend a significant amount of time just like washing the boobs does it take that you know washing under it how, how, how does or is I it can, just regular the same I can as wash them pretty part? fast okay, yeah okay. I've gotten I've gotten good at it <laughs> I'm sure you have you know? <laughs> I didn't know you could get good at washing boobs but I yeah, guess yeah you, you just have to be efficient you. okay yeah. alright so um, it's still no anal no. <laughs> I read somewhere that you performed with your ex-boyfriend and you said on camera, having sex with your husband is totally different than having anal sex with Mandingo. Oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, when I was married, right. I was married. And uh, then, like, I did have anal sex a few times. Um, but yeah, that's a totally different experience. I'm sure than, it like, is. <laughs> on camera. Um Plus, I was intoxicated. Like I was. So, you know, did that make it more soothing? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, it's not something you would do on a sober day. No, probably okay. not. Plus, I mean, obviously, I was married to him, so I knew him really well. Like, if I were to do ever do anal, I'd, I'd have to be somebody I knew pretty. Right, pretty right. Well, before you, right. and somebody that didn't have a very large. Right, right, you know, right, right, right. No, I totally understand the that. So, the so you're right, right. So you doing, um, you haven't done anal yet. Are you plan on doing it ever in the future? Is that something you never want to participate? I don't in? know. You know, I I thought maybe I would. I don't know. We'll have to see. I need to practice first. A lot of entertainers, uh, obviously females, say to me that. Um, they wait to do anal because they build up the anticipation you know what I mean not kind of give up that scene like it becomes more valuable the yeah. longer you hold on to it yeah I mean that's definitely true um I think I've like passed that point you know what I mean I've just not done it for such a long time I mean I'm sure there is still am anticipation it's more of just like a oh god I don't know if I want to do that thing you know uh-huh. were you married while, while being an active while you were, was, were you an active performer while you were married no when, when I were. was married I, I didn't yeah so it was after then you it was decided was before and then after okay yeah so not while you were, you were married no could no. you have pulled it off like being an, an, an adult film star Honestly, he was a little controlling, so he like it was him who was like, "I don't want you to do that," and I went along with it. You know what I okay. mean? Okay, okay. So, what did you do when at that time? Oh God, I worked for him at his company. Oh, okay. So that wasn't working for you? No, I ha- I worked in his office, which is so boring. And then um, you guys didn't hunch in the office like during a break or anything like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, and then I was a telemarketer too for him, so, which was that's the worst job. Like nobody. Yeah, I've, I've done it. Yeah, in the past younger days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure if you told him you had 38 Fs on the <laughs> no, phone, would, it would have been so quick to hang up with you. You know, there were a few guys that seemed like really like they thought I was going to be sh- showing uh-huh. up, you know, so they were seemed like they were a little like ex- obviously they didn't know who I was, right? But just. I don't know, maybe they like my voice or whatever. They seemed pretty excited that I was going to be the one showing up. But it wasn't. It was like a salesperson that was going to show up. So, You ever been skeptical about performing with somebody with a certain penis size? Oh, God. When I was younger, no. Uh, um, now that I have, like, I'm older and I've done some really big, huge penis sizes and I know, like, how long it takes to recover... I'm a little more like skeptical, you know. I I'm a little more uh, leery. When you say recover, meaning your vagina comes back into place? Like no, it's like uh, so. I did a scene with a guy who's probably the size of like my forearm, like huge. Okay. And for like three Jeez. days, I it was like just in pain. So, and I it's, that's not really worth it to me. So that's why I'm like, eh. 
Not to say it wouldn't do a big one, but like there, there's a limit. So when you were younger, you had a higher tolerance for it. Yeah. And I think, too, I just had like something to prove. And now I'm like, I don't really have nothing to prove. Yeah. You're, just, you're doing you shooting the scenes that you like doing. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Wow. You said the size of your form. Yeah, it was like it was beyond big. It was so big. And he was a little like a little rough too and that you like when you're that big you can't be rough right right do you um just based off my past interviews a lot of women say that they would kind of warm up was that the case with that scene like sticking in slowly kind of loosen it up open it up a little bit before you know maybe a little bit yeah so he's kind of rough you ever had incidents with the double tap yeah, you know what? I I was uh, watching that interview you showed me. If somebody gets too aggressive, uh-huh. I'll like just go on to like the full on pinch, like a hard pinch. Oh, you're yeah. squeezing. Yeah, yeah. Of course. They're not. Or I'll like even if they still don't listen, I'll tell them to knock it off. Like you know what I mean. So when you if you tell them to knock it off, do you have to stop the scene and then go back and shoot it? Like stop it literally, and then they'll be like, "Hey, you need to stop." And then I'll just uh, yeah, I'll just be like, "Hey, you need to like pull it." you know yeah. calm down a little um and then i mean that's rarely happens usually once i like pinch them they like calm they down they calm down yeah but just the fact that you actually have to pinch them and that they're not cooperating with the double tap yeah Is it, you think they're in their moment and they just it could be okay but it's rare i feel like because i'm i don't get books for like a lot of rough scenes mm-hmm. i'm not really known for that i'm not i feel like the people that that really like to see them get roughed up or like really tiny girls and I'm not like a really tiny girl. Right, right, you know? right, 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 right. How was your um, preparation from a scene when you were a younger talent to now? How do you, the preparation for the scenes? Yeah, what's, the dif- what's the biggest difference between? I feel like it's the same. Yeah, really. so you don't go about doing things, on a day of a shoot, you don't go about doing things differently now that you did then? No, not really. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Any particular scenes um, that any particular scenes you didn't like to perform initially, but grown appreciation for now? I'm trying to think. Um, not really. So, you- I mean, I f- I feel like most of the scenes that I've done, like a lot, I pretty much like. Yeah, okay. and have liked from the start. Best thing about the milf role? Um, I mean. It- it can be fun. I get to work with younger guys. It's 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 a big fantasy for people. Yeah. I don't really care, though. I don't really <laughs> care if I'm a MILF, if I'm a... Obviously, they're not going to book me as a teen. That would be a little ridiculous. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I never really think of it like that. Well, we're going to drop a bomb for Karen Fisher. Being named April MILF of the Month. On yeah. ABN Media, so we grabbed my man. And that dude in the Easter Bunny costume, oh, stroking you from the back, was hilarious. You know what I'm saying? The shot, it really looked good. That was a nice, nice shot. But yeah. with him wearing the Easter Bunny, you yeah, want to elaborate yeah. and let us know a little bit about Oh, it. yeah, that was a really funny scene, actually. Um, one, the costume was really bad. That was a really bad Easter Bunny costume. Oh, yeah, it was. But, but the, the shot looked good. Whoever did the, the shot, the little clip, I saw it on your Twitter. Yeah, so, yeah. I, don't, I don't ever watch my videos, but, um, but just shooting it was fun. The Robbie Echo, who played the Easter Bunny, uh-huh. is really fun. He's a really good male talent. The director was really fun, too. Um, I like working for Team Skeet because it's like a really quick work day. Like, sometimes it's just drawn out. You know, they draw everything out. You're, like, waiting for f- hours. And it just gets, like, old. You know what I mean? I like to keep it moving and get things done. Is that the biggest difference with major uh, production companies is how they go about shooting? Kind of. I mean, I, it can be the director, too. Um, y- you know, they all have their own style. Some directors like to stop, like, every five minutes and, like, give you directions, which that's to me. But that messes up the rhythm, right? Yeah, it's kind of stupid. I'm like, I've done this before, you know, and so is the male talent. Like, I can see giving directions. You don't have to, like, micromanage us. Right. That That's kind of annoying. Um, and then some people kind of, like, let you just do whatever and then... Um, maybe give you, hey, do this, do that. You know, some input the, the, um, here and there. And that's the best. I like it when it's just more natural and not like so managed. And I don't know. You said Team Skeet. It's like the day goes by fast, right? Yeah. Okay. So what are they doing that makes it go by fast? Like going into a boy girl, typical boy girl scene. I think they just like, they're prepared. Like a lot of times when... 
you are um, when things take forever, like there's a lot of waiting. And then to the dialogue isn't like super complicated where it's taking a good like two hours just to get mm-hmm. the dialogue right. You know, it's just it's just simpler. The, and more um, fun. What do you do when it's cut time? Like from the scene when you guys are getting ready for the next scene, when you got during the break, how do you keep yourself moist? Because um, the men, I know they have to keep their erection. What do what do you do? I mean, that time? I usually am like, OK, if I am not like if I need lube, I'll use lube. But usually I don't need it. How long does it usually take before you go into the next scene? Like, is it just change positions or you got to take the pictures of the It depends. Shots? Actually, that's another thing I like about Team Ski is because they shoot in 4K, they don't um, take sex stills. They oh, because grab- it's 4K, they can just grab a still shot yeah. and then use that as a picture. Got you, yeah. got you, got you, got you. So, that, yeah, that's more time. That, that's a, being more time efficient with the time. Right. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I noticed you only tweet um, content, nothing personal, no random thoughts. Any particular reason why? You know, I've just been really busy, and that's mainly why. Why just like busy? Oh, okay. So busy. when you were younger, what Twitter? Oh God, I were... feel like when I was younger, I would be on Twitter like twenty four seven. Okay, and like I just ate lunch. I'm going to bed now. Like every <laughs> little thing, unnecessary shit. Yeah. <laughs> what advice do you have up for up up and coming adult? female talents um i would say like for new girls it's i would recommend getting an agent because there's a lot of like bullshit you have to wade through and if you're like fresh fresh meat a lot of i wouldn't say a lot but there's definitely people that'll try and take advantage of you you know i've heard all sorts of like horror stories so i would say get an agent um you know, don't do drugs, save your money, especially save your money for taxes because you do have to pay taxes at the end of the year. Oh, so you money. don't, they don't take the taxes right out of your check. Uh, no. When they, so they just write you a check and it's on you to pay your taxes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like, if you don't save for that, that is like, you hurts. get hit. Yeah. At the end of the year. Um, and then, um, what else would I say? I think that's it. Those are the main. Incor- I would recommend getting incorporated if you think you're going to be in this business for a while. Your name, branding, your, as far as your name? As yeah, incorporate- yeah. Okay. Start a social media, start a website. Make sure you're doing something like for yourself and not just relying on um, shooting, com- shooting with different companies because that can dry up or, you know, ebb and flow. And you don't want to be like dependent. I feel like that's when girls start doing things they don't want to do is when they have no other income uh-huh, got you. Um, or if they just don't manage their finances at all and they're just like constantly broke because they're just spending 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 no i get it um so with that being said with the with the with the girls coming in the game um what would you have changed differently now Honestly, so for a long time, I just did my website. Uh, Like I did maybe a few shoots here and there for other companies, but mostly my website. Um, And I kind of wish, I feel like I missed out by not, you know, pursuing... um, doing more shoots in you know for companies when I was younger because I yeah I did I you, do. you ever dated in an industry I did once I did I dated a male talent like director once and that's it and you, what do you I mean, that, I w- would you advise the young female talents if you could turn back the hands of time would you have done that again no honestly I didn't feel like it affected me uh, badly and okay. we're still like on good terms um I could see though I have um I have heard of like times when it didn't work out so well. Okay. So I would just say like be leery, you know. Are you are you rec- do you get recognized on the street? Oh god, sometimes. And do they say something to you? Sometimes. And if they stare at you, do you say something to them? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, I don't. Okay, so if they say something to you, what's some of the things they say to you? Oh god, are you caring? Or just like, like that, yeah. Or they don't even add the Fisher. They or just like, say okay. Or twice, one time I, when I was at the gym, some guy just I like your movies, and then he like almost like runs off, and the same thing <laughs> happened at the grocery store. It is time to stop the fuckery. So they just say they just stay to you. I like your movies, and then just disappear. Yeah. 
It's yeah. like they're ashamed to let you know that they watch you on film. I Maybe mean, it's uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, but I don't like put off the vibe like, hey, come approach me. Right, right, right. Because it makes me feel like nervous a little. Not like scared. Right, I guess right. I'm just like a little shy. Uncomfortable? Um, yeah, I'm like, oh, unless it's at an event where I'm expecting right, right. that, a you convention. know. Um, so, so let me ask you, if, if, if say if it was a female that came to you and said, hey, Karen, I like that scene you did with such and such and such, or I like what... I, I don't know. I like the way you suck up another girl's breath. What would, would that? Is it easier for you to handle that than a male? It is. For okay. some reason, I would be like more like, oh, thank you. Right. But if the male tells it to you, then what? Then it just makes it's. It just is it creepy? Me, I wouldn't say it's creepy. It just makes me like nervous. Okay. And but I just I get like I get embarrassed really easily. And you're probably thinking that they they masturbate to you. You know what? I never I. When people tell me that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's like why people watch those movies, right? But I don't really, like, think about that often, that people are jacking off to my movies. But, I mean, logically, that's what it's for. I, I, I heard, uh, I was watching a documentary, I think it's Life After Porn, where Lisa Ann, um, she said that, you know, um, one of the things she kept in her mind when she would go to a convention is that, these people here that are coming for this autograph, take this picture, that they masturbate to me. And she always kept in mind, maybe that's why, you know, she was able to capitalize and, and brand the way she, because she understood that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah. I'm sure she don't want to be approached, you know, somebody coming on and say, hey, Karen, I like the way, you know, blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah. blah. So you do get recognized. So, you know, you deal with it. So what, what, what would you say to the people that are, that are going to watch this interview and, and if they were to see you in public? What would what would oh, how would you I mean <laughs> would you tell them to just say hey Karen and, and wave and keep it moving I mean and not go into detail yeah it depends like if I'm with somebody maybe just don't say anything because right that could just turn into a whole nother situation uh-huh. unless it's maybe another porn girl then that would be fine but yeah just say hi Karen bye or you I don't know yeah prior to the pandemic you you stated you tweeted actually I think it was you tweeted or you stated in a quote I don't remember if it's an interview all the free porn is killing the industry what's your thought about OnlyFans oh gosh it's it's like a game changer yeah are you doing OnlyFans now? yeah yeah I definitely have an OnlyFans yeah Yeah, and you do exclusive content I do craziest thing uh, customer client consumer is X so I do a lot of customs god I'm trying to think I feel like I just, I don't get a lot of like super crazy fetishes, crazy fetishes. Yeah. One, I don't, enough that I wouldn't do fetishes, but there's like a lot of stuff I won't do. You know what I mean? I mean, I have had a lot of people ask for like pooping videos <laughs> and I'd like, they call that scat. What is it called? It's, it's, it's scat, but that's like, uh, yeah, too, I found out the hard way what that was, yeah. but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that's like too much for me. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah I, That's I, where I, 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 I mean, I would maybe do like a golden shower video. Right. Not me being peed on me, like peeing on somebody, but, <laughs> but, but um, Scott, no. It is time to stop the fuck. So you, you're with peeing, with some, peeing on somebody, but not getting peed on. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Well, that's keeping it real, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's the last one you had to reject? Oh, gosh. Um,. As far as requests for people who don't know what I'm asking. Oh gosh, just like anal, anal, like yeah, somebody wanting. So even anal. a private, uh, say a guy that you're dating now, and they wanted to do a private anal, you wouldn't be willing to do it on your OnlyFans. Uh, one, I'm not, I'm not dating anyone right okay. now, and usually, also too, usually like when there's another person involved, they don't understand. I have to get paid. OnlyFans has to get paid. The male talent has to get paid. Uh-huh. If there's a cameraman, they have to. They don't understand. There's a lot of people getting paid, so it's not going to be cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Um, you're, you're, what consists on your no list these days? Uh, I mean, like mainly anal, okay. and then I don't like to perform rimming. It's not. Wait, a what, har- can you act, uh, not to cut you off? Don't lose your train of thought. I want to make sure because I had somebody state to me when the adult entertainers are saying things. Rimming, you called it. Yeah. What is that? Can you please? So it's it's licking ass, basically. Okay, just found out something new. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's a really popular thing right now. I like for whatever reason, maybe because like butts are so popular. But um. So when you got in the industry, licking buttholes wasn't 
Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Like, it wasn't a thing. And then recently, it's become a big thing. And I'm not, like, crazy about it. Especially, I've heard some really bad stories. I'm sure. Uh, Would you do... Okay, rimming, is it more popular with girl on girl? Or is it... It's boy, girl on girl and boy and girl. I would... Like, if someone wants to lick me, that's fine. If I was going to lick them, I'd have to be somebody I knew really well. And that I knew was like really clean. I had a, a, a guest tell me that she would only lick females. Yeah, she would not do males because she said females can put something in their in their butthole to clean it out and make you know what I mean. Just it was just really more that was you know um, hygiene. Yeah, type of thing. Um, I mean I don't, yeah, I I said girls are. I mean. Probably am more comfortable with girls, like licking a girl, than I would be a guy. But it just depends on the person. I I have done it with like people that I know, and I, like like literally just got out of the shower. But it's not something I want to like specialize in. So no rimming now, on your no list. It's not. It's not Depending. a hard no. Okay. Just depends. And what yeah. else? Give me one more. I mean, mostly just anal and um. You know, and rimming. That's it. Yeah, and I don't do like hard bondage really okay. either. I know that like some people like that, but so if if they booked you to do a scene with Dread now, would you do it? Oh God, I don't know who that is. Dread is the guy with the dreadlocks, and he's extreme. Is he from Las Vegas? I think so. He signed to one particular company. What about the uh, um? So if Mandingo, you had a shoot to do with Mandingo, I don't know if he's still in the industry. Would you do it? Uh, I would ask other people. Like, I actually just sh- um, shot with, gosh, what's his name? Sean. Mike? Michaels. I shot oh. with him. He has a huge piece. Yes, right? he's a veteran. He's yeah. Very gentle. Okay. So, see, if somebody's like that, yeah. that's cool. But, okay. like, if they're going to just, like, destroy you, then I don't know. And I was, I was, you know, that's a veteran. He's like a Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah. He was, he's a really nice guy. Um, he's a good performer, but he's not like, like, I like people to get into it, but I don't like them to be like, like, there's a balance. You know what I mean? I don't want a boring scene where they're like too gentle, but then I don't want to be like, oh, I can't walk for three Yeah, yeah, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. <laughs> now I got to let the audience know that Miss Fisher is a savage. Karen, don't think I don't know about your episode in Jamaica. (laughs) One time, quote, one time I was in Jamaica with a guy and I snuck away to bang the other hot Italian guy. It was fun night of sex on the beach, end quote. Oh, yeah. (laughs) It is time to stop the fuckery. (laughs) Okay, now let's break this down. You were in Jamaica with a guy. Yeah. And the hot Italian guy, did you know he was going to be there? Or is that just somebody no, spontaneous? I didn't know him. Like, honestly, the guy that I went with was just... You went for the trip? Yeah. Okay. We went there together. And I just, was just... It wasn't going well at all. Like, he was really... It wasn't like we were hitting it off. We weren't getting along at all. Like, he was just really annoying me. So you just met him. And then you the he, he invited guy, you to come to Jamaica. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had known him a little, but not well. Okay. And then he invited me to go, and I was like, sure. And then, you know, just spending some that much time with somebody, you really, like, get to know them. And you're like, oh, God, I wish I wouldn't have come. So you guys weren't intimate? Yeah, we were. Okay. So even the intimate, even by having sex, that didn't spark up. You just no. weren't clicking as far as personality-wise. No, no wise, not really. Okay, so how did you get to the Italian guy? Um... Yeah, then I just met the Italian guy and uh, met him where there there was like a dance club. Okay, yeah, at so the resort. You, you're drinking, he's drinking, that type of thing. You guys are. I don't even this. think that I don't even think I was drinking. Oh, so much. you were sober. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you saw him, made eye contact, and you knew immediately you wanted to sleep with him. Well, I saw him the first night, and then I was like, oh, he's cute. Okay. And then I think the guy that I had come there with and I, we kind of like went our different ways for the evening, and then I saw the Italian guy, and I was like, okay, like, let's go. Yeah. So the next night. Yeah. So you got rid of the other guy you came there with, or you flew back on the plane? I think, he, okay, he actually met like... um like a tea girl that he was really interested in um and so i encouraged him like yeah you go should do your like thing. go with her, her. <laughs> it uh, is time to stop the fuckery so, <laughs> so go ahead so yeah 
so he went, you know, uh-huh. did whatever he did, and then, um, yeah, and then I went and I had my own fun. So. Did you? Oh, so you guys were sharing a room when you first came there? Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't stay back at that room again after that? Uh, you know, actually, the morning after all of that, I think I was up like all night, and then I flew home. I had to flew home. That was you like were up my- all night doing what? Oh, well, like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. we, we, we got a bona fide freak in the building. Oh, my God. <sighs> wow. So it went down. Then you just got on a plane the next morning? Yeah. That, By yourself or he was with you? Oh, you, we had the same flight. So he was, <laughs> he was with me. I mean, and it was fine. Like, nobody was. You think he knew you had an idea of what you were doing? I don't know. I don't think so. Did you ever speak to the Italian guy after you left Jamaica? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I went to go see him. And uh, oh, so you went back and got got some re, uh, got some. Uh, yeah, plus relatives. like who right. wants who doesn't want to go to Italy? You know. Wait, 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 wait. This was in Jamaica. Oh, you went to Italy the we next went, time. Yeah, gotcha, then I gotcha. went to see him and um, oh, in Italy. Yeah, went yeah. down. Yeah, what's what? Did he have a girlfriend at the time in Italy? Yeah, I did. He or I did. He, he did, but right. I didn't know about it. Okay. And then I found out. You know. Did you care? Kind of, yeah, because, yeah. Well, I just don't like being lied to, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> um, if it's, it's still, I know it's hard to date as an adult entertainer. Right? Yeah. Right. Um, if you were to give some free game to men out there trying to take a porn star out on a date or even just try to date them overall, what advice would you give to them? Well, it just depends. Like, if you're looking to date someone just because they're a porn star, that's not a really a good reason to date somebody okay. you know I don't think um, and I that's why sometimes I'm leery like if somebody approaches me and they know who I am I'm like okay do, do they like me or are they just like ooh I want to bang a porn star you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, but if you just happen to know a girl that is a porn star that you like like you know her personally you know what type, type of person she is not just like her persona online or whatever um i don't know i would just say be like genuine yeah, yeah. i mean i could just tell you like a bunch of bullshit lines, right 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 no like, i'd rather just, my, just be genuine yeah my honest opinion is yeah just like be genuine because you gotta understand we get like bombarded with like so many people just telling us like ridiculous nonsense so like if somebody's genuine that's gonna stand out more than and be appreciated more than somebody just you know trying to play a game you um you still have men reaching out to you what's the last dm you got that kind of like oh god i don't read my dm oh you don't (laughs) no i just you know what i'm so busy also that's another reason i'm not on twitter as much is because OnlyFans keeps me so busy like there's just so much to do and i'm answering their messages so sometimes when i'm done with that done with all my stuff i'm like oh i'm done being on the computer Uh, how long have you been in the industry so I started when I was about 25 and I am like 44, so almost 20 years. You ever worked with Lee Stone? You know who that is? No, I don't. Oh, uh, okay. I'm still trying to find somebody that's worked with Lee Stone. But anyways, I'll leave yeah, that alone. <laughs> <laughs> so it got, wow, you've had a hell of a run. How long do you plan on doing it till? I don't know. You ever thought about directing? Not really, to be honest with you. You know, you think I'd be super interested in that, but I'm really not. Yeah, if I was going to do something besides performing, I'd rather just, like, move on to something totally different. Okay. okay. If you could um, go on a... If you could have dinner with uh, any particular individual, dead or alive, and just have a constructive conversation, who would that be with and why? Oh, gosh. Like It, it can, can be from any field. I don't care if it's for politics, entertainment... So it just it has to be like a constructive conversation. conversation yeah, okay. have a, 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 a real conversation, not just somebody you want to sit there and talk some wild shit with. Somebody like you would want to pick their brain, or just just to get their. If you say you just had certain questions you just want to ask, and you wanted to get their their opinion on it. That's a really good question, and I really don't know. Okay, all right, all right let's go for an entertainer then. If you could, if you could um, bring an entertainer back from the dead. And just watch them perform one last time. Who would that be? I really like. Um, I mean, I guess she wasn't like. She's more of a. Yeah, she's kind of a performer. I really like uh, Bridget Bardot. I've always liked okay. her. Okay. Yeah. And you, if you would to but see, she's alive. No, wait, she's not dead. <laughs> I'm like, wait, she's alive. Sorry. All right, so give me somebody who's dead. Who's dead? God, who's dead? That um, you would want to remake. Doesn't matter. I don't care if it's rock. I don't care if it's pop. I don't... 
Or it could be a sport. It could be a, 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 a an actor, actress. It doesn't matter. Just in the entertainment field. There's got to be one person that's passed away that you would want to watch. I that know. you would say, damn, if I could watch them perform again. It's you know, be. I'm not. I'm. I'm just like really. It sounds bad, but unless it's somebody I have like that I know personally, I'm kind of just like on to the next. Okay. As far as performers. So if you can see one movie from one particular actor that's no longer here, who would it be? That you just, still can't go. <laughs> you gotta no, give me an answer. You gotta, I don't watch. Never I don't not watch. I don't watch any. I don't really watch like old old movies like that. I did. I did like Chris Farley. Okay. I thought he was really funny. Was funny. Okay. Yeah, he was All really right. funny. So if you if you could get another Chris Farley film, comedy yeah. film, yeah, so you would want to see Chris with Farley come back. Yeah. Come back. Sorry, I was okay. difficult on that. Question. So, <laughs> what can we expect from you for twenty twenty one? Um. Well. I um, am planning on doing for the second half of 2021. Yeah, I know it's like almost half over. Yeah, it? kind of went fast. Yes. Um, I would say yeah, I'm planning on um, starting to shoot uh, movies again for big companies. I haven't done that for a while. Besides the milf.com yes. Okay. So, yeah. And your OnlyFans? Do you book the male talent? You find the male talent yourself, or do they more reach out to you? Yeah, I usually just find my own. Okay. Yeah, it's usually just people I know. I mean, of course, you get a lot of people volunteering. Right. Um, but yeah, I just usually find my own. Okay. Um, now we're going to do our moment of truth segment. Moment of truth is where I, I ask you, I state something and you tell me if it's true or false. If it's true, you can say true. If it's false, you can say false and, and um, elaborate on why it's false. Or you can choose not to answer. Okay. Okay. All right. So several male performers have, have found your way onto your node checklist. Um, False. Okay. It's not several. <laughs> It's not several? It's like a few. Okay. And what did they do to find their way on your note checklist? If you, you Obviously, you don't have to say their name. but if they... The one's actually a girl. And just because, honestly, she's super bitchy. And I, she's always been a bitch to me. And I just don't want to work with her. Okay. Um, and then one of the guys... Um, oh, God. It was just like a bad, a bad scene. Like, he had to, like, slowly, slowly, slowly you know hump or whatever because he needed to come like he couldn't hold his cum and this is in the very beginning so the director said okay like he kept on almost coming right like and he was barely <laughs> moving like barely moving so finally he's like just let me come and I'll get hard again and then we can finish the scene so we did and then he couldn't get it hard again it, it was just like a disaster so, so he like, couldn't he couldn't come why is he had to have like full concentration I'm just trying to understand I what, mean he did come oh he did come he did like two minutes took, into this like five minutes and oh, wow I think, yeah is that the only he, time that ever he happened couldn't to hold it I mean there's been a few times but in general just everything about that guy was annoying he was just super annoying he did that and then he couldn't get hard again and so we had to like wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait even I was just a was he a new performer yeah fairly new yeah but then on top of it he was kind of a creep so it was just a lot of things you know what I mean what makes a guy creepy before we go into the next question to you on a set Gosh, I feel like there's one thing to like show, like, you know, you kind of have to, it's, you don't have to be totally businesslike, but don't be like too unbusinesslike. Okay. For me, I'm not like one of those girls that's super like, no, totally save it for the camera. Right. But don't also act like too much like off camera. I don't okay. know. I know you're like. No, oh. no, I actually, I understand you're what you're like, saying. Mixed signals. But <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. so, so before we go into the next question, when you're cutting the scene. Do you have guys press up on you to keep their, their erection going? Not or has really. that become creepy? Oh, no. So if they... Is that something they can do to be creepy towards you? Like I, trying to press you to like, you know, continue to give them oral sex or jack them if off? If a or, guy... Like, so I... It depends. I like to try and get into it. So okay. I will help a little bit. But I'm not going to sit there and like suck your limp dick for like... 20 minutes uh, you know like yeah. after a certain point because that's work yeah, yeah you yeah. know i don't mind a little bit also it just helps maybe build a little bit of chemistry to keep that right. you know keep things going but if, at a certain point i'm like okay sorry i right. you you gotta like <laughs> go help yourself it. your favorite spot for the money shot is your breasts i would say so yeah okay do you like once it's on on once it happens do you like 
rub it or you just look at the camera and smile? I guess it just depends. I'll okay. either either or. <laughs> Milf's got the best vagina. M- Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> MILFs got the best vagina. So, like... Like the MILFs, like MILF older women, you know, like we call them MILFs. Like, you know, we're like, oh, that's a MILF. MILFs got the best... So, if men are... Say, say we're here, men, we're having a conversation. You're not in the room. Like, man, MILFs got the best... He could, he could be telling me about the young girls, all the young girls are firm, and I'd be like, no, nah, MILFs, MILFs got the best vagina. So, I'm asking you, do MILFs have the best vagina? I think... I mean, I don't know who has the best <laughs> vagina. You're supposed to rep here because you're, you're, you're in the MILF title now. I know, you know? but it's just like such a weird thing to say. <laughs> I mean, for me to say. I'm so it's not, you just not answer then? But it's no, not true, it's I, not false? What I would say is I would say that like older women, we're more experienced. Uh-huh. We know what we like. Know we how to know. grip. Yeah, okay. you know. All right. All right. Um, walking on a set for a shoot never feels the same. Wait, what? Is that walking on the set when you're appro- when you're coming to a set and to shoot? It's never the same feeling. Oh God, I feel like it's always the same. Always feeling. the same. So it, so it's, it's so it's false. Then walking on the set always feels the same. Yeah. Okay. False. Rough sex. It, rough sex isn't your thing. Semi rough sex. I okay, so you false. like semi, but just not too just much. Just not like okay. crazy. Yeah. Okay. Is it um not is it best to have sex before eating? False. No. <laughs> well, so uh, I'll eat a little bit and then eat like a big meal after. Yeah, because you don't want to be like too full, but you don't want to be too hungry either. Yeah. You, you need energy. So, but you don't want you wouldn't go to a buffet and then go. No. Oh, okay, all right. Because then you become lethargic or something. Like, yeah, okay. you're gonna be bloated. You're gonna be tired. Um, your breasts have gotten things your way most of the time. No, false. That's false. What? <laughs> well, any uh, have you ever tried to use your breasts to get your way? No, not no. really. But you know, they say like, okay, if you get pulled over and you have like big boobs, you'll get out. No, never, not never, not maybe like once. But I don't, well, even, well, I don't even. <laughs> you're gonna have to elaborate. Wearing, you like, can't tell me what. I think I, I don't even think it was my big boobs. I think the guy because I was wearing like a coat, so he, who knows what kind of boobs I have? You know, I think he just was like being nice or. Whatever. So the coat, you could still see the boobs. Kind of, but it was pr- like one of those. You know, you could yeah, kind but men, see. men can tell that shit. Men, okay. men are very. We it's the imagination part. We got down pat. Like Maybe. we can, we can the twenty twenty. Like phew, we Maybe, know what's but, up under there. Yeah, but that's the only time. <laughs> <laughs> um, women get a kick out of men thinking they're in charge while performing. Uh huh. Maybe true. Yeah. So you know you're 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 the one controlling the scene, but you get a kick out of watching the male thinking that they're running the show. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's true. Depending on the you know, it just mm-hmm. also depends on the performer. Um, you can tell immediately when recognized out in public for being an adult performer. False. No. No, because I don't know. Are they just, just like checking you out? Okay. Checking me out, or they're like, oh, she looks familiar. <laughs> How do you dress when you go to the supermarket? Oh, well, I live in the desert. It's really hot, so I usually just wear like something not not. I don't wear a lot of clothes to the grocery store just because it is really not because hot. okay. Just no, because, because it's, really it's like a hundred degrees. And when you go to the beach, do you wear bikinis? I do. And when you're laying, you get tans. Yeah. And do you catch people looking at you when you when they're sitting out? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. And what do you do? You like it? I just don't even pay attention. Okay, so you're not—that's not even on your mind. No, you're just enjoying the tan. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess it depends who's looking. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 And who am I with? Like, what mindset am I in? Got you. Um, Anything you want to let the people know um, as far as where to find you? Oh yeah, Um, my Instagram is hot underscore Karen Fisher. My Twitter is at sexy Karen Fisher, and my OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com. Slash Karen Fisher. Okay, Miss Fisher, <laughs> I appreciate you joining us on the Boozy Show. Great interview. Um, Yay, thank yes, you. and y'all check out any new films coming out before we um, that they could be looking out. Not for? yet. I I just had the five come out for MILF dot com and um, nothing yet, but hopefully soon. Okay. All right, Karen Fisher joining us on the Boozy Show. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thank you for joining us. All righty. It's the Boo Show with Zeta DJ. Zeta DJ.